Is After Effects letting you down with motion tracking? Then let's dive into Mocha AE, a plugin that works through After Effects that works even better when it comes to planar tracking. Let's dive into it. All right, we got our screen overlay and we got our clip. So we're gonna bring our clip into a new composition. And our clip is just a tracking shot of a green screen with tracking marks on a phone. So let's start by going into Effect, Boris FX Mocha and Mocha AE and then click on Mocha icon, and then the software will pop up. It's a little different from After Effects, but don't get alarmed because it's pretty easy to navigate. So we're gonna start by going to the X spline, which is basically just the pen tool with an X on it. And we're gonna select the center of each circle. Now on the left-hand side, I'm gonna make sure Show Grid and Show Surface are both enabled. This is showing us what our tracked surface looks like. So I'm gonna make sure this blue square covers the entire phone and maintains the same proportions as the phone screen. Then I'll go back to the left-hand panel and I'll hit the forward track and you'll see it starts to track. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap on the bottom, but I think it's okay for what we need it for. So now we're gonna make sure we go up to save and then we're gonna quit out of Mocha. So now back in After Effects, if I go into my Mocha effect and I open up the tracking data and I hit create track data, make sure the little icon is toggled on. And then right away, you see that the tracking data is there. You see the points are right in the corners where I made my shape. Now, if I bring my screen overlay and I'm gonna scale it to the project proportions. So this is a part where it gets a little tricky. So the way Mocha works, whatever you need to overlay has to be the exact proportion of your clip. So if I look at my clip here, and I go to reveal source in project, then I could see my source clip in my sequence is 3840 by 2160. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this screen overlay shot, and since it's a vertical shot, it's gonna be a little tricky, but it has to be vertical in order to fit onto the screen in this composition. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go to pre-compose, then I'm gonna move all attributes into a new composition. Then I'm gonna go into this comp, and I'm gonna first make sure that the composition settings for the sequence is 3840 by 2160, and it is, so that's good. So now I wanna fill the entire frame with this clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually rotate this 90 degrees, negative 90, and then I'm gonna scale it up. I'm gonna unconstrain the proportions, and I'm gonna make it fill the entire frame. It looks a little funky, but stay with me. If I go back into my composition, I'm gonna hide that for now. So now if I go into my tracking data, and if I go down to export option, I'm gonna change this to corner pin support motion blur. And if I go to layer export to screen overlay and apply export, I'm gonna bring my top layer back. You could see that it applies the tracking data to my top layer. So now that looks pretty good. So now our mocha job is done, but the edges of the clip are still there. So this is where the key light and the chroma key comes in. I'm gonna bring the screen overlay underneath my main layer. And then I'm gonna go into my effects and I'm gonna type in key light and I'm gonna drag that onto my phone layer. And then I'm gonna do a simple chroma key. I'm gonna go to my screen mat and I'm gonna drop down the screen mat drop down. And I'm gonna just change my clip black and my clip white. So all I see is basically pure white and pure black. And then if I go to final result and you can see that the crosshair circles are still there, but we're gonna get rid of it, so don't panic. So I'm gonna click my pen tool and I'm gonna create a shape covering all five of these circles. I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna parent it to the screen overlay so it maintains the same tracking data. And it does a pretty good job at maintaining the tracking data, but I need to just keyframe my shape a little bit so it covers it when it gets towards the end. I'm just making path keyframes and adjusting the shape. If you guys are finding this video helpful, hit that like button so it could spread to more people like you. I'm gonna hide this again. I'm gonna create a track mat by pick whipping my phone layer to the shape layer, and then I'm gonna invert it. So that gets rid of it, creates a mask over it, basically. You can see that my screen overlay is underneath the phone layer now. And there you have it, folks. You just learned how to track in Mocha to After Effects. Hope you like this video and hope it helps your videos in the future. See you next time around.